What's poppin' everybody? You already know what's going on because the title of the video today, we are copying Flair. That's right, all you guys commented and I said, you know what, it's about time we actually copy him because you know, why not? I got a chicken coop sent to me here for you boys. I will just leave the link in the description. You actually have to click the link. It will take you to uh, all of the chicken coops. So if you guys want to use uh, that link to purchase a chicken coop for yourself, it doesn't have to be this exact one. It could be any size. You know, this one's a little bigger. I believe this is uh, the two boxes that it comes in. We have have one little picture of it here it should uh it should be interesting so it has like the house like on top and then everything else will run down low if that makes sense so let's get these things thrown together and i will tell you guys a little bit more about this coop your mom can do it grandma can do it anyone can put this thing together big win over here on my team so uh, yeah, let's get this thing slapped together. I'm thinking right underneath either this window or maybe right next to the water hose, uh, just so it's easy for water and stuff like that. That way I don't have to run a hose everywhere and yeah, you get it. So let's get this sucker put together. A few highlights about this chicken coop is one, the shipping. We got it sent out on a Friday. It showed up to my doorstep on a Monday. That was amazing. It was super quick on top of that is the materials. The fir wood coated with an eco-friendly water-based paint, which is 100% environment safe, along with your animals safety. And that goes for any of their coops or enclosures across the entire website. Well, how about that? So, so far, this is where we're at. It is a few days later. As you guys know, Christmas was came and gone, but I had to leave because, uh, well, my Christmas activities were starting a little early, so I got cut short finishing this. So in the meantime, I actually went and got some waterers, uh, a feeder, and some shavings to put up in their nesting boxes and for them to kind of hang out on and stuff like that. Other than that, it's pretty much done for the most part. Like other than what you guys saw, I'm gonna throw it on. Uh, this will be a little lid that hinges up. It'll be roof, roof, and then same thing over here, hinge that comes up. That's really all I have to add. And then whatever these little flaps are, I'm not too sure what these do or where they go quite yet the only thing i can think of is maybe they attach here to uh maybe not allow like rainwater to run directly down the wood and into it and all that maybe that'll help protect it that's the only thing i can think of that it's going to be used for other than that i'm not too sure but i guess i'll find out once i get into these directions more i also found out that when it said no tools required it meant because you get everything like to come into the kit i thought it meant no tools at all yeah i was wrong you need like a drill it makes life a lot easier but i feel like that's pretty that's a that's a common household item especially if you're looking into getting a chicken coop i feel like you have a drill or a screwdriver or something in the house so other than that it's pretty simple i mean it's like 12 steps and you're done kaboom so either way let's throw the roof on it and i'll show you guys the finished product this has to be one of the most easiest assemblies I've ever had for anything. Everything basically just unfolds itself and you screw it together. You don't need any tools. It is super fast and the foldable design, like I said, makes it super simple. The instructions have pictures so you cannot mess anything up along with all of the screws and hardware that you will be using are perfectly labeled as well. I will leave a link down below for you guys to go check out any of their chicken coops along with any of the other things that they provide. They have rabbit hutches, guinea pig houses, cat houses, cat towers, anything that you want. Heck, there's even dog stuff on there. Any animal that you guys have, I guarantee you, they have something to go for it. Voila, look at that beautiful chicken coop. And the house is gray and it's gray. So that's a big, big, Plus, uh, well, really all I did was add these little peak pieces, uh, all the little roofing, and these latches here. They're actually pretty cool. They're like spring-loaded on the inside, so you don't need like an actual like holder piece. I was like, where's the rest of it? But really all you do is you do that, and now it's locked in there. So I don't know uh, if these locks will work entirely, uh, just because there, there is some, some, like they're kind of small screws that are holding them on, but I guess there's really not that much like pressure and force on them, but... I don't know, but either way, once you come in here, you guys see, yeah, you guys can see pretty good. They have all their little roosting poles. Uh, there's a latch here as well for the tray that slides out, which I'm not gonna slide it out, but you guys get the idea. Down here is like their little, uh, well, I guess scratch area, if you wanna call it that. You have your food, your water in here. You have their little ramp that goes up, and then the nesting boxes are right in here. Unlock it lift it up take this little arm holder and boom hold it up get in here chew your chicken out of the way grab your eggs put them in your pocket and then sit on them later and then yeah that's it so as you guys can see it's a very 
cool design. Uh, you can have it to where you can put it in the middle of something and walk around it entirely because what it looks like on the front, it looks the same thing in the back. So same idea all around. And uh, yeah, so pretty simple. I mean, in total, maybe an hour to set it up. Uh, I was only working for a little bit, maybe 20 minutes, and then I had to get up and go. Put another maybe 30 minutes into it now. So just around an hour, I would say. And uh, yeah, you have some leftover hardware that they send you. They send you a few extra of each screw, just in case you drop one in the grass or something, because I'm sure they envision you doing this outside. But yeah, so I guess, uh, well, I don't know when we're going to go get chickens, but we'll go get chickens at some point in this video. And whenever that is, I, I guess I'll see you guys then. Okay, see you later. All right, boys. Well, it's been, uh, how long has it been since I actually finished setting the chicken coop up to now? Two uh, weeks? A week? Probably about, probably about a I week. don't know. It's been a few weeks since we got the chicken coop to now. Uh, a few weeks ago, we went and got feed and, like, the, the, the shavings and uh, a water dish, food dish, stuff like that that we needed. I finally found a lady who would sell me chickens. Everyone else wants to sell me the little chicks. And I've been there, done that. I don't want to take care of chicks anymore. I want an already grown chicken. And apparently that's really hard to find, especially in the county I live in, or the city. I don't know if it's the city or the county. I think it's the city. They don't allow you to sell chickens for some reason. You only can sell like the eggs. So I didn't want to hatch eggs, one, because I don't want to buy an incubator to literally hatch the three chickens that I want. Or I didn't want to deal with little baby chicks. So we finally found a lady. She's selling us juvenile hens that eventually will be egg layers and uh, then Augie can make me some breakfast, so that's a big win. Uh, and uh, so we just are now pulling up. I don't know if we're allowed to film there or not. We're just getting off the highway and she lives right off of it. So uh, if she lets us film there, then obviously you'll see that. If not, I'll show you guys our little chickens soon. Well, we're back. We met Vanny, who's the chicken lady. Uh, she was very nice, and she got us these nice two chickens. Uh, to be quite honest, I already forgot what they were called. I'm sorry, Vanny, I apologize. Uh, but they're two different breeds, but they're both hens, or maybe they're two different. They're the same breed, but different like color ways, or? I don't know what the difference is, to be quite honest, but there's a whiter one, there's an all white one, and then there's a brown one. The white one uh, either is going to lay blue eggs or green eggs, we're not sure. And the brown one, I think, just lays normal brown eggs. She didn't say about those. I didn't ask. But we also, the only other issue is we're not going to get eggs for four months because they're kind of young. Apparently juveniles are going to take a little bit. So we just got to finish doing that. And then uh, apparently the brown one's a little mean and then the white one's chill. So I don't know how to get them out of here. I should have used the bigger cage. That probably would have been smarter. But we're going to... Oh, he looks pissed. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Hey, 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 hey. You're mad, aren't you? Oh, yeah, you're pissed. Oh, this thing's heated up. I need him to come out head first. There you go. Let's open your door. Here you go. You want to go see your new house? Go ahead. Yeah, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There you go. There you go, bud. Go check it out. There you go. So this is the brown one. This is the one that's a little on the meaner side, but he's pretty friendly. She said if you just work with them a little bit, they'll get used to people and be more like a dog, I guess. So that's him. We don't know what color eggs he'll pop out. I'm assuming either brown or white. And then, uh, oh, look, he likes that clover. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll get your food and your water in a minute here, buddy. I got to get your buddy out of here first. Here's the white one. There you go. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I know you're excited. Look at you. So this is, oh, no, 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 hey, no, be nice. <laughs> Don't beat him up, buddy, just beat him up. We, when we put him into the, the cage in the truck, he uh, he tried beating him up in there too. He was smacking him and stuff, it was kind of funny. All right, you guys hang out in there for a little bit. I'm gonna go get your food, your water, and your shavings. I guess we gotta fill this thing up for him, but uh, I think what we're gonna do eventually is do like uh, like a chicken wire around like the bigger gaps in the fence. Uh, so, and then we can just let them out during the day instead of buying them like a chicken run. Uh, that way they just have the whole yard, they can do their thing. They'll be faster than the dog, I assume. Or we just put them away when the dog comes out or whatever we gotta do. They should be pretty good. Hopefully they help us with some of the mosquitoes and the flies around here. Maybe they'll eat some of the bugs. All right, let's go get their stuff. Alrighty, so we got them all. They're inside as you guys saw. Oh, hey buddies. <laughs> I didn't realize I was gonna see you that quick. Uh, so I just have to basically fill this with fluff which we got here, which I don't know what the easiest way to do this. I was hoping like these would be on hinges so I could pick the whole thing up. Obviously you guys are watching this video. Maybe that's a new, new upgrade for the next year model. These on hinges. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> I think I packed her a little too full here. Now we're in. So you guys take a look in there. That's what it looks like with the fluff. 
all set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut that back. We could put a little fluff in, I guess, just for why not. And you can always fill the inside from over here too. I don't know if that's any easier. I think the, the hinge lid would be a good idea. Same way as this, same, same idea, just up there. So I'm gonna give them just a little bit of fluff up here just so they wanna sleep in here instead of roosting on the pole. We'll put your food dish right here for you guys. Or should I put it more up under so it doesn't get wet? Yeah, I was gonna say probably center it more. Probably put her, yeah, there you go. put her back here a little bit. There you guys go. Why are you hiding? It's okay. <sighs> Something like that. And that was just to prop up the water so it wasn't underground on them. And are they tall enough for that? But he's eating the grass and he's right next to the food. What are you doing? Oh, oh, oh he ate some. There he goes. Oh, see, he gets it. All right, so you understand that. Do you understand the water, buddy? Hey, where's your friend? Oh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hey, come here. Here, I want to show you your water. Oh, oh, he's pissed. Oh, she was not happy with me. All right, well, dang, you must have been hungry, huh? But he's chowing down. Hey, come here. That's him making all that noise, and he won't come over here. He's pissed. I'll give you guys a little bit, and then I'll, I'll come back and check on you. Alrighty, everybody. It is the next <coughs> morning. So I wanted to come out here and bring you guys with me because I didn't want to see anything that was not, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Either way, I checked on them last night before I went to bed and uh, they didn't want to go up in their house. They stayed underneath the ramp. So I figured I'm peeking. I don't see anyone. Oh, did they fit? Oh, I see. Oh, there they are. Oh my guys. Hey guys. Hello. Hey. What are you doing in there? I'll set you guys like that. I don't know how well that camera can see everything. Come here. Come buddy. Hi. It's a, no, it's you don't need to peck me. Well, either way, they're doing good. So I just have to show them their water eventually. I assume they found it, but I, I don't know. I don't know how they were drinking before. I don't know if they were drinking out of like the little nipple cup kind of thing or if they were drinking out of like an actual bowl like that one. So either way, I can always text Vanny, let her know, or at least ask her what she was using to uh, let them drink before, what type of drinker they were using. So either way, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It's kind of a little on the, the more mellow side, nothing too, too crazy. But uh, yeah, hopefully we will jump back into a little more crazier things as the month, the year goes on. Happy New Year to everyone. Hope you guys all had a good Christmas. Charlie is barking at me and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, again, the link is down below to check out any of the chicken coops uh, or that exact one that you guys see out back. So if you guys want to check them out, you are more than happy to. And uh, yeah, okay, bye.